So I've never been here to KCRI before. Um, I've never been to mainland Tanzania either, but I did do um, a research project um, on Zanzibar Island. It's my second time in Tanzania and my second time in KCRI. I was here in February to March of this year. I like the area, the surrounding area. It's so green, it's so clean, everything is absolutely beautiful. I haven't even seen the mountain yet, but I still, <laughs> I still think this is a beautiful country. Um, and no, and I've heard so much of KCRI and it's actually an honor to be here. So the TB Diagnostics uh, Workshop is one of the programs we think is a necessary uh, program for all the networks uh, operating in Tanzania doing research and clinical research in TB. So we have a few like those, Cantam, Pandora, EACCR2. Uh, so I think this is one of way on how you can strengthen the capacities within Africa so it's, it's one way of sharing experiences and exchanging knowledge among ourselves, the, the delegates, also the faculties. Yeah. So it's, it's one of those uh, kind of workshops which we think they are uh, important for, for us. I have learned a lot of new things. I already had an experience with Gene Expert, but being in this workshop has enhanced that. There were some little things that I did not know about Gene Expert, but being in this workshop has helped me understand that. I also like, uh, I never knew anything about DSTs, but then being here, I've had the chance to observe that and to learn, and even hands-on. I've, I've exchanged contacts with people. If I think I have a problem with something, I'd be able to contact them. Learned more about the techniques that have been working on gene expert, magic drug susceptibility testing, but most important, I've learned a lot on hey, genotype, genotyping method, which I haven't been working on back at home. We have to learn every every time, but the most important for this workshop was uh, the the connection with other other researcher that was very very important for me. To end TB, we need to diagnose patient first. And this workshop is good because we can use the technique to diagnose a lot of people, a lot of patients in most of the country. Because if we check very well, most of the cases of TB are in Africa. If we can standardize the way that people do these tests in all of their different labs, we have people from all across Africa, from Sierra Leone, to Ethiopia, to South Africa and Cameroon, so pretty much every corner of the continent. If we can start to um, harmonise all of these different labs by teaching them a similar technique along the lines of the WHO guidelines, then hopefully that will make all of the clinical trials and research projects a little bit more standardised, which makes data more shareable and then, in theory, everything more together. So I've been working for TB for about three years now and I think sometimes you get isolated in your own country, in your own lab, and I think it's great to come to another institution that shares similar practices and just to share that knowledge. I think, I think right now is a great time to kind of build these networks, build these connections, so that we can all come together and share our knowledge and expertise. Having these conversations, speaking to colleagues who work on it so much, I mean, they, they run so many tests of gene expert a, a day, um, and often they perhaps don't see the results and because I come from a clinical side I can see the impact it has and so together they can show me how to improve on, on the way we diagnose and I can show them the impact of that and, and I think this um, workshop is such a great opportunity for us to all come together because we're all working towards exactly the same thing and we can learn from each other from what works at different, uh, at different facilities, what our strengths are, how we can each improve and I think yeah together we've just got so much stronger a way to beat TB. 